Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to share some really cool discoveries with you all. I know when we did our series called Creation Clues, there were some really deep concepts. When you start looking into the microscopic complexities of life and biology, some things get very deep. And we looked at a concept called irreducible complexity. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this term, it simply means that if you have a machine with several moving parts and the removal of any of those parts completely stops its function and purpose, then it is considered irreducibly complex. Well, in nature, we see this quite often. We see it in the real world when, you know, a part of a mousetrap falls off, it no longer works because every part is essential. And when you look at this bacterial flagellum here, you can see that it is made up of many motorized parts. It is a fully functioning motorized piece of equipment. It just happens to be part of a living organism. So it's really cool and we did not know this back in Darwin's day and when this theory of evolution was really just in its prime and they were having all these things come out and all these ideas and theories. We didn't know about this sort of thing. We thought that bacteria was just sort of this blob of like cytoplasm we really had no clue how complex life was on a microscopic level and when you look at things like just the sperm that are so small and there are so many of them produced every second in the male's human body and then you find out that the body assembles these things in such a way that they will have fructose that they will need for energy the dna that's needed to make half of a human the other half comes from the mother of course but it's so spectacular these things are the equivalent of a speedboat if you could scale them up to size they would be as fast as one of those boats you see in a boat race so they are quite miraculous and then you have so many more things like the female body can actually grow a human being and then feed a human being and all of these things that are so symbiotic in nature where these relationships go on between not just organisms but the parts of organisms it's miraculous now to show you what I wanted to show you today I want you to see this this is really cool you may have already seen this but I want to take a deeper look it is from an organism known as a plant hopper which seems very lame if you've ever seen one of these things they hop around kind of like a flea they just kind of shoot off and you can walk through grass and they jump everywhere Kind of annoying, <laughs> but if you look at these things under a microscope, something really cool comes into view. And it's these perfectly designed gears. And I thought when I first saw the image of this, that it was someone zooming in with an electron microscope on actual gears, maybe some tiny gears that somebody had made, because we did not realize that gears appeared anywhere in nature like this. This is something fairly new of a discovery. It's not brand new, but it is mind-blowing. And this is not even the most complex aspect of this creature's life. The genetic material inside this creature is so much more complex. And you and I go far beyond something this simple as two gears that fit perfectly together and help this insect go from sitting still to 12 miles per hour in a millisecond. Things like that, that we don't really, we just look at this bug and we think that's an annoying bug hopping around. Just let me walk through here. But there are some miraculous aspects of creation that often go unseen. You are one of those and it's time to just really think deep if you're on the fence about creation who you are and you really have a lot of doubts just think about some very simple things i believe it was muhammad ali in a speech he was talking to some people and they said how do you know that there's a creator something along those lines and i can't remember exactly what he said but there was a glass of water sitting there and he said Look at that glass of water. Would you think it's possible that that glass, it's made out of sand, melted down, somehow formed itself into the shape of a glass? 
and then somehow filled itself up with water. No one in the crowd thought that was possible. And he said, how much greater than that glass of water are you? And people were quiet. They didn't know what to think. This was kind of before he disappeared off the scenes and was going into retirement. But that was a lot of wisdom there. And I really want you all to understand that as dumb as creation is made to sound in science, there are a lot of hoaxes, and you can look into them, find out that it's been proven and admitted. But it goes beyond that. And you need to know that who you are and what your true purpose is is different than the mainstream paints it out to be with all the distractions and the seemingly innocent lies about where we came from and what we live on it all seems so innocent and I was blinded by a lot of it growing up I know that many of you have seen some of the exact same imagery that I have when I went through school and it's for a reason it's to stop you from investigating to blind you from seeing the complexities of creation and also how much of a beloved creation you are I can't say that enough it's one of those things that I lost sight of for a long time and wasn't aware of until I needed it most until I was down at the lowest low and a love that I've never experienced before picked me up and healed me in the blink of an eye at a time when I deserved it the least and was the most hurt I've ever been but that is what changed the way I look at our Creator because it showed me that there is something out there there is someone that loves me in spite of how many dumb mistakes I've made and I want you to experience that love it is the most beautiful thing you could ever imagine and a lot of us miss out on it because we don't know who we are and we don't know what our purpose is and we don't know how loved we really are can't say it enough you are a beloved creation of the most high and I really hope you give it a chance don't take our word for it but look into it thanks for watching love you guys God bless